I am at Subway, well, Circle K, I'm at Subway right now. I am getting lunch for the Ocean Springs Police Department. Gonna bring this up there, surprise them with it. Um, I got a lot of good friends over there, a lot of good people that work over there. And I'm off today, not much to do. Can't really go fishing, it's windy. I mean, I could, I could try it, I might try it, but uh, let's go feed some folks. That's a lot. They're gonna get fed good today, ain't they? <laughs> we got the truck. Got a bunch of uh, sandwiches, chips, drinks. <sighs> this is gonna be good. Oh, they're hungry. I'm hungry. Let's get to eating. I got myself a sandwich too. So, you know, sorry guys. Uh, but no, like I said, these guys are awesome. A lot of them been friends with for a long time now. And uh, you know, it's a Monday. We just had that storm come through. They just had to work a bunch. So, why not? get them some food show our appreciation for what they do for this city but, all right y'all let's get to the pd oh, that's not a sandwich that's the, oh, that's the of course leave it to you allowed to drop it that's in there. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so i'm gonna run back to the house i'm gonna grab a fishing pole let's see if anything's biting So, headed out here. I'm gonna try it now. It's been a few days since the storm. The water's receded a little more. It's a low tide for sure. I put some waders on so I don't get all muddy. <sighs> I wish I saw somebody took a full wheeler down through here. Still looks pretty rough. Oh, that's a big drop off now. Be all right. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> oh yeah, there we go. Oh goodness, that storm really did a toll on this beach. Then we'll start off with the popping cork and a gulp. I think it's the best bet. Since we're doing the SLX giveaway, I decided to go ahead and bring the bring one of my SLX out of here, out here, give it a shot. So hey, I'm gonna start with this. Let's see if we can hook up. I just put a thing. Got a tree on me. <laughs> so I just put a gulp swimming mullet on a jig using the SLX with the SLX rod. I have 12 pound P line on here, and oh man, I forgot how nice and smooth that thing flies wow okay i haven't used this in a while gosh there's a lot of debris out here so let's get to fishing got the waders on this time so should be okay it's so shallow right now yeah that popping cork would have been a bad idea i'd have to go far so i'm just gonna sling this jig around Oh, whoever wins that dang SLX is going to be happy. That's for sure. This thing flies. Oh, what do I got? I got a bunch of trash. A tree. I got I got a tree pounder, y'all. Get off there. Get off there. Out of the way, I am stuck in the mud. I almost fell. Oh. Let me try to go this way. Whoa, I got a no drag. <laughs> All right, these waders in this mud is not gonna work. I need to get closer. I'm sinking. So we're just fishing shallows. 
I mean, there'll still be redfish around, so maybe we'll find one. Well, I hate to be that guy and say I'm about to give up on a spot when I've only been here for maybe 10 minutes. But I mean, this water is real shallow. There's just debris all in this water. I'm sinking in this mud with these waders on. I walked, I'll keep casting down to that point, but man, I just keep picking up trash. And I mean, this water might be just a foot deep right here. It's super shallow. Which, I mean, redfish like shallow water. It's, it's just real muddy. I gave it a go for a little bit. It's just dirty. Real dirty. And, uh, hold on a second. My mom was calling. Hello? And I think I'm going to go try National Seashore. Maybe there's a fish there. Maybe not. Dang fly on the camera. Get off the camera, fly. I'm trying to do something. Or not. Just hang out. So, all right, let's get back to the truck. I'm trying to step on a nail. No idea what that is. Okay. <laughs> so I just picked up Brian. Hello. There's Brian. How are y'all doing? I hope they're doing well. Hope y'all are doing well. So I left that spot, then we went to National Seashore. National Seashore is closed down. And uh yeah, it doesn't look too pretty over there. So we're at Bristol Boat Launch over in Fort Bayou. We're gonna throw a few times, see if anything's going on. If nothing happens, I have a dinner planned for tonight. I got some uh, mangrove snapper and uh, some crab meat, so I'm gonna figure something out, you know. Nice little mixture, see what we can get going. It'll be a good time, so let's throw a few times out here, see what we can do. All right, let's get to it. Oh, did he, man, he ate that thing too. Ooh, he wanted it, son. There it is. There he goes, on that DOA, little bass. <laughs> I see them schooling over here. So I was like, you know what? There's shrimp in the marsh. Let's see if we catch a little bass or some trout. Yeah. See, there's something bigger in here, man. All right, I'm putting, a, I'm, it out. I'm putting a voodoo on now. You gotta go. <laughs> I'm putting a voodoo. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna put that voodoo on there. I'm gonna I'll put one. For you. I'm gonna put one on there, though. I don't know what I'm gonna put. <laughs> oh, man, he's catching fish. I ain't got a knife. You got a knife? No. You, man, just stop. <laughs> You're gonna have to add one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I got an idea. You got a pair of scissors or something? Line cutter? There we go. There's bass in here. Let it loose. Oh, he's hooked up again. Come on, Brian. Another bass. This man can't stay away from him, bass. What? I'm going to have to put the chesty on. All right, I'll see you guys. All right, Chris. I'll see you later, brother. I got to figure it out up in here now. Man, I'll put one of these shrimp on here. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm putting the chesty on. We're about to get to it. Let's get him. I know what to do. I, I've been fishing that spot. Uh, Brian was down there. And I've been over here. Now, I wouldn't be proud of this bass, but I would have been happy with a fish. But uh, I get in the truck. I got the truck started up because I'm like, all right, let's go. He's like, last cast. Pulling out a backlash. Pulling out a backlash. It's just the, the smallest <laughs> bass of my life. <laughs> That is literally the smallest bass I ever caught in my life. <laughs> on the DOA. Oh my goodness. That is, peace out, dude. All right, 
end it on that. Let's go. Let's we go. gotta cook some food. <laughs> <laughs> I just, well, I was skunked today. Brian caught three bass. Um, I did, I thought they were specks at first. You thought they were, yeah, you did think they were specks at first. Oh, I just stepped on a rock. All right, let's, let's go. Let's do All right, this. so we in the kitchen now. We got the fillets, mangrove, snapper, and some sheep's head. I got the lump crab meat. Now it's time to put that together. I don't know what I'm gonna make with it, but we're gonna, we're gonna look clean the lens. I always need to clean this lens. Yeah. So we're gonna put something together. Let's see what we got. We're gonna season those fish up. Uh, I'll probably put them on aluminum foil, put them on the grill. I got some propane. So I gotta think of something to do with that crab meat. I have an idea, but Hopefully it's good. So let's let's get right, it going. So I made a little tray out of aluminum foil. Brian placed the fish on it. <clears throat> now, what doesn't make me happy is these mangroves and these sheep's head were frozen. So they don't look the greatest. But we're gonna try to make them taste pretty good, you know? That's what happens when you go out today and don't catch fish and you want to make a catch clean and cook. <laughs> you use what you had in the freezer. So I mean, technically caught fish. You caught three bass, man. All right, and they weren't even legal size, so we couldn't even eat them. So we're gonna cook this up. But Brian's adding the seasoning right now. I got the butter. So let's do this. Got them all ready to go. Got some, uh, what is that, garlic chili sauce. I'm gonna try it out, something new. So let's get to it. I got the grill running right now. Should soak up all that butter, that garlic. Look at all that crab meat. What's up, Brian? Salt off my mouth, Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Probably need more butter. Yeah. That's a lot of crab meat. Yeah, I definitely need some more butter in that. Look at that fish. Okay, I changed my mind. That looks really good. That looks amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to eat that. That mangrove. Ooh. Trying to get all on, bud. Mm -hmm. Say that again? Not gonna happen. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Not gonna <laughs> happen. Oh, there we go. That's fire. It's good? Mm hmm. All right, I'm excited. Better than what you get at a restaurant. Yeah? Okay. It's really good. Yeah. It's right. just it got a kick. It's it's got, got a, a kick. kick. You wow. think it got a kick, Brian? Mm -hmm. I like that, so I'm about to make my own plate. Y'all hold on. A All second. right. Here we go. This is. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's really good. Oh, yeah, that crab meat helps out a lot, too. I did good with it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right, y'all. So, yeah, today's video was all over the place. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all. Go get you some fish on top of a crab meat. It's pretty dang good. Oh, and that chili sauce on there. Perfect. And whatever else Brian put on there, too. What about my crab meat? <laughs> See y'all later.